Hello everybody. Do you ever get really big feelings like anger or sadness or frustrated? If so, those really big emotions can take such a big hold over you. And sometimes, do you know what? We might say things that we regret or we might lash out or hurt somebody without meaning to, or we just might feel really pants. But in this video, I would like us to look at ways that we can help ourselves. So when we're feeling very raw, and that feeling might be known as anger, it's where maybe we've not got our, our own way, or maybe things haven't gone quite as we planned, or maybe we've put loads of effort in, and we've not got the result that we wanted. And what happens is we get this feeling of anger. So what I'd like us to do first of all is to realise that it's okay to feel angry. Now, anger might not necessarily be the most helpful in that moment. However, it's there and it's natural. The only thing is that I need us to remind ourselves that it's about the way we respond to a situation. So we might be feeling all raw, but actually it's down to us as individuals in how we choose to respond. And that's when we need to say, I'm sorry, or it's when we might need to walk away before we say or do something that we might regret. It's about taking responsibility for ourselves. Now I know that that can be really, really hard because all we want to do is keep going raw. But actually, I want to share with you some of the things that you can do to better help yourself when you are feeling that anger and all rad up. One of my favorite things to do is to get a hug. Now, that might not necessarily be from an adult because we might be at school or we might be feeling too raw that we might actually have really annoyed somebody. So sometimes it's about finding those things that we love and just, just sharing our heart and our feelings with them. And also, they're good listeners too, you know, and they don't tell anybody. Another one of my favorites is fidgets. They're brilliant. Now, don't get one that's too noisy because sometimes that might annoy somebody a little bit more, but they're brilliant. Even blue tack, the smallest bit of blue tack you can just fidget with. And sometimes if we can feel ourselves starting to build and bubble with those feelings of anger, just having something like a piece of blue tack or a small pebble can just help us just focus on the fidget rather than what's going on. Another one of my favourites is reading. Reading is brilliant because even if you're just looking at the pictures, it's brilliant because you just get to escape from the reality of feeling raw to the book. And whether that's you imagining yourself as a character or if that's just you wanting to literally just turn the pages. And sometimes it's the little things in life that can help you. And also it could be writing a story or it could be drawing, it could be coloring, it could be dot to dot. It's just about finding those little things, those little things that can help you maybe just feel a little bit calmer. Another one of my favorites is if you get some moisturizer, so imagine you're at home and you've got moisturizer, you put moisturizer onto your hands and hopefully you never know it might smell. But with that, what you can do is you can give yourself a hand massage, okay? Now the beauty with a hand massage is it might last for 10 seconds, it might last for longer. But they're beautiful, they're amazing because in that moment, you can just slow down. And you can rub your palms, you can squiggle your fingers, you can rub the front, and you can just find a sense of calm. So that's one of my favorites. So there you have it, there's just some ideas, but what you'll be noticing now is here on this YouTube channel, on KitchTube, is that there's lots of other videos that are there to help you. So it's just about exploring which one is the right one for you. And if you like it, then you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button too. And I will see you guys next week. Take care everybody, bye.